There are many different options when it comes to formatting your pivot table. We're going to start with the different pivot table styles. You can see the many different options available to you on the design ribbon under pivot table tools. Scroll through the styles to see what appeals to you. The font, outline, and cell fill color will change with each style. I usually recommend keeping it clean with a simple black and white style. You'll most likely end up adding color to your tables in other ways or through graphs, so it's nice to keep the pivot table simple to avoid making your exhibits too busy. The style I suggest looks like this and is usually the first option you'll see. Next, we are going to talk about layout. You can access the options by going to the Report Layout dropdown. You should see three options, Compact, Outline, and Tabular. Select Compact, and you'll notice that the row labels are pushed into one column. I don't particularly like this layout because it can start to get lengthy when you're using multiple row or column labels. The outline and tabular layouts are similar, with the main visual difference being that when there are multiple fields in the rows or columns, the outline format will show the subtotals at the top of the section without a label, and the tabular format will show subtotals at the bottom of the section with a label. If we select Outline Format for our pivot table, you can see that the subtotal is being shown at the top of the section without a label. Now, if I select Tabular Form, the subtotal is now being showed at the bottom of each section and it has a label. For example, 2013 total. For this reason, I think the tabular layout is the most visually appeasing because your eyes will immediately recognize the different sections of the pivot table like 2013, 14, and 15 in our example. The last item we're going to talk about for formatting are subtotals and totals. You can apply subtotals and totals to rows and columns instead of having to do the calculation yourself. You can turn subtotals and totals on or off by going to the subtotals and grand totals dropdowns. The dropdown for subtotals specifies if you want the subtotals at the top or bottom of each section. The numbers won't change, just their location in the pivot table. You'll also see a drop-down for grand totals, which allows you to select if you want to see totals for rows, columns, or both. When formatting your pivot tables, you're not going to wow the crowd with any technical skills. But trust me, presenting an easy-to-follow, clean exhibit will make all the difference in the world when trying to communicate your ideas and findings at work. But if you close your eyes